800 last year outdoors in preparation for the 800 that she of course won at the Olympic Games and eventually setting the American record but she was a 400 meter runner last year. Here is Talitha Diggs, the Florida sophomore, daughter of Joetta Clark Diggs, the, eight, the four time Olympian in the 800 meters and she could bring it in the big meets for certain. This is a significant event from the team perspective because, of course, Talitha Diggs comes in with big expectations after winning the indoor 400-meter title, which helped the Gators to that team championship at the NCAA indoors. But you have two Texas Longhorns. You have Kennedy Simon and Stacy Ann Williams just to the outside of Talitha Diggs. And Florida head coach Mike Holloway said that we pride ourselves on being at our best at the end of the year. He's pleased with the progress, certainly should be pleased, because Talitha Diggs ran a career best just two days ago, 50.08, flirted with that 50 flat mark. That is nine-tenths better than what she won the indoor 400 with. And she's perfectly positioned because she's inside both Simon and Williams, so she can watch what they're doing. They'll probably take her out in this first 100 meters, and that's not a bad thing. So... Is Cherokee Young also, let's not discount in lane number five. She is the collegiate leader in the event from Texas A&M. So Young in five, Diggs in six, Simon in seven, and Stacey Ann Williams out in eight. Yeah, and they all seem to be moving together, as well as Alexis Holmes from Kentucky, the anchor leg on that collegiate record-breaking 4 by 400 meter relay team. It's even actually Holmes right now at the 200 meters. You can see her in the all-blue of Kentucky. Now pushing through this second turn and still Holmes. And then Diggs. Holmes comes off first. But Diggs can close, as can Cherokee Young. It's Alexis Holmes, the junior from Kentucky. Now here comes Talitha Diggs. Cherokee Young trying to make a move to catch her. Holmes hanging on. It's going to be Diggs, then Young. And it might have been Kennedy Simon for third. Very close between Simon. Diggs wins at 49.99. The barrier is broken. Cherokee Young hang on for second. Kennedy Simon was third, just two hundreds ahead of Alexis Holmes. Oh my gosh, guys. We felt like it was going to take something under 50 to come away as the champion. And Talitha Diggs found exactly what she was looking for when she had to at the right times. We'll see. Hopefully we can get a, a, a replay here. But what a phenomenal finish as we saw Kennedy Simon uh, coming, or I should I say Alexis Holmes coming to that last stretch in first place. But right when she got tired, the same way. as you said, right here you see Alexis Holmes. She's made up the stagger on everyone. She's running extremely hard through that curve. But right when we got to about 125, the rest of the group said, no, no, no. You're not going to get out in front of us. We're coming with you. And there's Talitha Diggs. You see her breathing, relaxed, going to her arms when her legs are done. Because like I've said on many occasions, when everybody gets to the last hundred, everybody's tired. And Talitha Diggs dug deep found exactly what she was looking for, and now she is a champion. They knew she was capable of that type of performance because she split a 49 on the 4x4 at the SEC championships, and that is what Coach Holloway wanted her to do, was use the variety that she has, contributing on the relays, running some 100s, 200s, and 400s over the course of the outdoor season to build up to that type of performance. Talitha Diggs, under 50 seconds, has equaled the number five collegiate all-time, tied with Kendall Ellis of USC, and she is downstairs with John. All right, Dwight, uh, you did it to us again. Don't win at the SEC. Two weeks later, here you are, the national champ. Uh, what are we doing in those two weeks? Working hard and praying. Um, yeah, you know, I had a good SEC meet for where I was, and then came out here and worked hard and got it done. How much did it help? in that SEC meet that you know all the rest of the, the women in this field. Yeah, having raced against these amazing ladies, I knew that, you know, it was tough competition, so I had to be ready to go. I like that it starts with a four instead of a five. How do you feel about that time? I love that. 49.99. They said I have a lethal kick, and I pulled it out again. I'm not getting away the lethal kick. I'm just going to get it to white so I don't get hurt down here. <laughs> I love that lethal kick. But in the team score it was a push she gets 10 points for florida first winner of the 400 meters for florida by the way ever but texas scored 10 as well finishing second 
and, th and fourth. So a push in the 400 between the two contending teams with Talitha Diggs, daughter of Joetta Clark Diggs, under 50 seconds and a national champion. It's the 800 meters when we come back. Seven, and you can see the rest of the points there. Not much of the season left, but that updates you on that Capital One Cup. Moments ago in the triple jump, again, they're in the preliminary jumps, the first three. We saw Jasmine Moore, the sophomore from Florida, transfer from Georgia with a foul. So I'm not saying that she played it safe here because she was going for it. Second jump and watch her second phase. She stretched out pretty well, got a little bit sideways, but it's a fair jump and into the lead, 46 feet, a half an inch with about a .7 trailing wind. So she got a little help from the wind. Then a few jumps later, the freshman from Texas, so huge implications here for, between Florida and Texas. Second round jump for Akila Smith. She had jumped 43.9 and three quarters in her first attempt. Got a better jump on the board. Did not have much of a second phase there at all, but she does move into third place with this 44.8 mark in the second round. Plenty of jumps remaining. They will have one more in the prelims and then contest the finals. So here are the updated standings. After the 100 meters, Texas now with a one-point lead over LSU, but you can see the potential they have on the right side of that graphic. BYU and Kentucky are currently tied for third as we get ready now for the 400-meter final. Thing Mo, remember she ran the 400 last year outdoors in preparation for the 800 that she of course won at the Olympic Games and eventually setting the American record but she was a 400 meter runner last year. Here is Talitha Diggs, the Florida sophomore, daughter of Joetta Clark Diggs, the, eight, the four time Olympian in the 800 meters and she could bring it in the big meets for certain. This is a significant event from the team perspective because, of course, Talitha Diggs comes in with big expectations after winning the indoor 400-meter title, which helped the Gators to that team championship at the NCAA indoors. But you have two Texas Longhorns. You have Kennedy Simon and Stacey Ann Williams just to the outside of Talitha Diggs. And Florida head coach Mike Holloway said that we pride ourselves on being at our best at the end of the year. He's pleased with the progress, certainly should be pleased, because Talitha Diggs ran a career best just two days ago, 50.08, flirted with that 50 flat mark. That is nine-tenths better than what she won the indoor 400 with. And she's perfectly positioned because she's inside both Simon and Williams, so she can watch what they're doing. They'll probably take her out in this first 100 meters, and that's not a bad thing. So... Is Cherokee Young also, let's not discount in lane number five. She is the collegiate leader in the event from Texas A&M. So Young and five, Diggs and six, Simon and seven, and Stacey Ann 